shunt motors are the motors that you have both the field winding and the arpeggio winding they are basically in shunt or in parallel the question is how we can control their speed there are two different ways to do that one of them is to insert a variable resistance in series with the field winding the other one is basically to insert uh, resistance in the armature winding now what is the impact of uh, these two uh, methods let's see that on our experimental setup uh, this is the experimental setup that we will be using to test the impact of changing the field and the armature resistance on the speed so we start from here this is the DC input voltage is 120 volt it goes from the positive to the fuse for short circuit uh, protection and then from the fuse to the switch to turn on and off your motor and from the switch basically to the field winding which is connected in parallel with the uh, with the armature so you can see here this is your shunt and this is your armature and then back to the DC supply let's start the motor without having any resistance in series so this is the selector switch so here is your motor turning on now we will use a taco meter basically to measure the, the speed so we just need to point to the rotating part and then we see the speed here so it is around 1498 1500 something like that that is the the speed without connecting any resistance in series with the field or basically the armature now what i did i connect a 10 ohm resistance in series with the field winding so the connection is coming from the basically from the switch to the starting of the resistance and then it goes to the field winding and then the armature starting will come connect at basically the starting of the resistance so the resistance the 10 ohm is inserted in series with the with the field so now let's see the speed when we basically connect this so now let's come here and measure the speed so the speed has increased it was around 150203 now it's one 531 1531 rbm now for consistency i will just add another 10 ohm in series with the previous 10 ohm resistance so i have total now of 20 ohm resistance in series with the field winding so let's see what will happen to the to the speed So again, the speed increased. Now it is 1,560, 5760. So increased when we added the resistance. The question is why? Why when we increase the field uh, resistance, uh, this will lead to the increasing of the, of the speed? Another parameter that we'll discuss, if we insert the 10 ohm resistance here in series with the basically uh, with the armature okay not with the field winding so let's see what will happen to the speed if we do that start the motor see what will happen to the speed actually the speed has been reduced if you remember the speed was originally at 1500 now the speed has been uh, reduced Again, uh, for consistency, now I will have the total 20 ohm resistance in series with our armature uh, winding. And let's see what will happen to the, to the speed. Again, the speed has been basically reduced. So, the conclusion we can get here that if we basically insert resistance in the field the speed will increase and if we insert resistance basically in the armature 
the, uh, the, the speed will be reduced. The question is, why is that? So please join me to a brief uh, explanation of how changing the field resistance and the armature resistance will basically affect the speed of your motor. Hi everyone, and uh, let's answer this question, how basically the uh, change of the field resistance and the armature resistance will impact the speed of a shunt type of a DC motor. Now, uh, this is the field, and uh, this is basically uh, the, uh, the armature, okay? And they are connected in shunt or in parallel. And there is a video, I will leave the link to it in the video description about the components of uh, the uh, DC uh, motor. Now, here we have two variable resistors connected in series, one with the armature, one with the, with the shunt. Okay, so we notice that when the resistance R1, which is connected in series with the armature, basically uh, increases, this will lead to the, the speed omega decreases. And we found that when R1 R2, sorry, uh, which is connected in series with the field, increases, that will lead to the omega will increase. So we want to see why is that. Now, before we go there, one important thing that we need to notice that when R2 increases, it means that the current I, which is IF, which is the field current, will decrease. So R2 increasing will lead to the decrease of IF, this will decrease, which will lead to the decrease of the flux. Because the flux, the field that you will have in your machine is basically uh, controlled by F. So the field inside here will be decreased. So decreasing the field will lead to the increasing of the speed. Now, let's try to uh, explain this. So this is basically uh, the model for the shunt type of uh, DC motor. This is VA, the terminal voltage that you apply. This is the supply voltage. And this supply, sorry, supply current will be split into IF and IA, armature current and the field current. And here, this is your armature and this is your EA, the armature voltage or the back EMF, okay? So let's start from the basics trying to explain what is going on. So the first formula that we know that EA, the back EMF, is equal to KM, a constant that depends on the different parameters of the DC machine, times the flux times omega. So that is a fundamental formula for DC machine. The other fundamental one is the torque. The torque that is induced in your shaft is equal to KM, the same constant, the flux, the same flux and times I, IA. Now, if we apply KVL to the outer loop, you will have that EA plus IARA is equal to the internal terminal voltage. But EA is equal to this, KM phi times omega. So let's substitute here, replace EA with its, its value, okay? And also IA, is basically the torque divided by Km and the flux. So let's substitute Ia here with its value. So now Va is equal to Km phi omega plus the torque Ra over Km phi. Now let's find what is omega is equal in terms of everything, and that is the formula. That is omega, the speed is equal to Va over Km times the flux minus Te the torque Ra over Km phi all square. Now, let's talk about first changing the field resistance. So as now we, are, we uh, will understood, if basically I increase Rf, will decrease the flux, and because omega and the flux are inversely proportional, the speed will basically increase. Now we have to mention that in the experiment I did, the VA was constant, I didn't change the voltage, and the torque was constant, I did not add anything to the shaft of the motor. So the only variable when I change RF is basically your, your flux. The second thing, now when I increase RA, 
very clear here if i increase r a i am increasing this term so basically i am reducing your omega so in conclusion increasing r f will lead basically to the reduction of the flux and increase of the speed however increasing r a will lead to the reduction of the of the speed